in today's video i'm going to show you the best arduino circuit designer for you and this will help you a lot in your school project or in university this designer tool for arduino is very unique it have all the features that you need you can add different components and you can have most of the circuit and sensor inside this ready-made so you can easily use them and you have all the equipment from the sparkfan website in this project so basically you need to go to a website and you need to have internet connection on your browser you just need to go to this uh, circuitstudio.com this is a free open source project you can use this completely for free for doing any kind of circuit design with arduino you can see this is the interface of the website from here you just need to go to this free download section to download the project and here you can get all kind of support like the windows linux or mac so you can download from this section um, as i am using the windows i will just go to this download section and you can see this is the 229 megabyte software and you can see i have already downloaded this so i am not going to download it again and just open the software from here so this is our uh, circuit designer software so here this is the start page of the circuit designer this is uh, you can create a new file or you can save your old project or open from old project so i start with a new file and i'll let you introduce the interface how you can actually connect some uh, pins and lines and how you can create different or custom components like some sensor may be not available in this platform but we can also design that circuit or some component inside the circuit designer so this is the interface so you can see this is a breadboard here you can just select any component by clicking right click on this and you can see this is selected now you can just move it around or you can delete it from this button delete here or you can also press delete key key from your keyboard to delete any component so i just click here to delete the component now you can search any kind of uh, device here if i just search for arduino you know a r d u i n o u n o you can see this is the arduino you know we can just drag and drop it inside our breadboard uh, sheet here you can see this is our device and it have already the ready made all the pin you can connect to any component you can see here all the pin is ready to connect and you can also find all the spark fun devices here i mean all the product that available on spark fun website it also linked here you can see here all the device and all the board and everything every sensor you can use all of them and the most important thing is you can create a custom component here and i will show you how you can actually create a custom component so basically i am going to create a new component this component uh, to use you can see this is a uh, esp8266 module for arduino that we use to connect to any wi-fi server and this is the device that is not available on this circuit designer but very easily we can create this component to make circuit inside this so to create this component we can just click on this create a custom component on the below from here it will come to this page and from here we can design new components here we can add our components name what we want to write the name so i just give esp8266 wi-fi module and now we just click on next to components pins from here we can add the device or components photo and we can also define the pin so i just select the picture from my desktop you can also download a picture like this and you can resize it inside of this now you can see we have eight pins and we can also define all the pins here so to define any pins uh, this is for snap to grid like uh, you can add any pin on this grid line so i just unselect this and add pin here so this is the pin which we will use to connect our cables so now we have created eight pins now we can also rename the pin here so to rename any pin we just need to click on the pin again so once you click on the pin it will automatically select it and here you will get the get this option the pin level we can write this this is the ground pin uh, this will be the rx pin and this pin will be tx pin and this will be 3.3 volt and also this pin will be 3.3 volt and the other three pin we are not going to use done this pin labeling and now click on next and save this component now this component is ready to use in our design 
now you can just uh, scroll a little bit below you can see this option user define and here you can find this we just added the esp8266 wi-fi this module so i can drag and drop it inside our design section now we can have this device and we can now start designing our circuit now i'll show you how you can actually design the circuit to design any circuit or connecting to a pin you just need to click on one pin and then hold the mouse button and drag to another pin and then release like i just select this rx pin and go to this rx pin just release my mouse again the tx pin to this tx pin this is the ground to the ground and this is the 3.3 volt to the 3 volt and also this is the 3.3 volt we can just connect it here or we can just connect uh, it here so that's it now we can see our circuit design has successfully completed with this by like this you can do all kind of design with the arduino and you can also have the view how actually it look like when you want to pin the design and you can also change other thing like you can also hide this grid line from here and you can also export it in png and sbj format and you can also have the view the complete view of your design and you can export it easily from here if i just select on png it will automatically generate the png file and it will automatically export the file you can see it's automatically open a pop-up window to save the image so just click on uh, save and it will automatically save in my desktop so i can see it here so this is our design so that's it now in this way you can simply create any kind of circuit for arduino and this designer tools i found out very useful for any project so i hope you like the video and if you like the video the like button and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i'll see you guys on the next video